Internet crimes against kids have become such a problem that the Deschutes County Sheriff's Office has added a staff member to take on the cases. Kelsey McGee spoke to the detective in that new role. Detective Mitchell Meyer once worked with the New York City Police Department. Most recently, he was with the Oregon State Police. I think it's a huge issue, um, and I think every department uh, in the state is being inundated with referrals regarding these crimes. Forensic Detective Mitchell Meyer has been on the job a little more than a week with the Deschutes County Sheriff's Office. He started triaging and prioritizing cases involving Internet crimes against children. It's a new position. Um, I'm learning the policies, rules, and procedures of the Sheriff's Department, but once that's, uh, once that's finished, then we, yeah, we're going to go and... and uh, focus on these ICAC investigations. The Deschutes County Sheriff's Office has seen the number of these crimes increase significantly. 2016, we received four tips total for the entire year. 2017, we received five. 2018, we received 29. 2019 and 2020, we received 30 tips each. And then in 2021, we received a total of 57 tips, so almost double over a year. I don't have the statistics for 2022, but I, I would venture to believe it's going to be around, if not higher, than what we received in 2021. The most common scenario is a young child interacting with someone they believe to be their age, and they're asked to send explicit images. In reality, it's an adult on the other side of the screen who will then threaten to expose the photos to the child's family and friends for money. Other cases come from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Somebody is getting access to child sex abuse material. They're storing it online. That could be images. It could be videos. And they're storing it on some sort of service provider's uh, storage, cloud storage, be it Google, Verizon, Dropbox, et cetera. And so that tip will come to us to try and figure out, hey, who is actually uploading or saving this child sex abuse material? Detective Meyer doesn't believe there is a set age for when it's safe for when children can go online. He believes it comes down to maturity. Kids are more in tune with technology than the parents are, and so they're not keeping up with it. And so if the parents don't know uh, about the technology, they're not really looking for it and paying attention to their children's activities online. Detective Meyer says the sheriff's office plans to go into schools to educate children and families about online safety. Kelsey McGee, News Channel 21.